welcome back. This video is the 11 most overlooked details of the new Action X series. I am gonna start with accessory loops. On our shoulder straps, we have these stretch accessory loops. They're for hydration hose. Quickly uh, keep your hydration hose in place right here. Or if you're using this pocket and you've got a two-way radio, you can stick your antenna through here to keep it from flapping it around. Number two, padded mobile phone pocket. Previously on our floor series, we had the mobile phone pocket. Basically the same. This one's actually a little bit longer, but it's also padded now. So it gives it a nicer look, but it also gives you a little more insulation and it obviously protects it. You also might notice this beautiful logo detailing. I really like this. Number three, the expansion of the accessory pocket. As we've shown in other videos, you can fit a 750 milliliter water bottle right here. You can put whatever you want in here. Like I said previously, a two-way radio, snacks, sunglasses, passport, a wallet, anything like that. So how this works, we have our shell lining, we have our interior lining, and then we have this jersey stretch material. It doesn't seem like it stretches a lot, but it does. There you go. And the beauty of this is when you're not using it or if you're using it for something smaller, just quickly tuck it in, zip this closed. This zipper is actually a locking zipper, so you can't pull it open. It locks on its own, which is a nice feature. Number four, TPU nylon ski straps. These are nylon. These are what we use for all the other straps. But for here, we're using TPU because it's extra durable. I mean, these aren't gonna break either, but it's extra durable. So if you're putting skis in here, skis uh, can have a hard edge, especially for people who live in icy places and like to keep their uh, edges diamond sharp. But even the top of a new uh, ski or board can have a sharp edge on it too, which isn't actually a steel edge, but it's just the uh, actual board. Whatever material the sidewalls are made of, that is also uh, can also be sharp where it meets the top sheet. So to prevent any cutting and wearing away at the nylon, we use TPU. But the other thing is the surface of the board, it kind of conflicts with the TPU and it causes it to stick. So next is the shoulder strap loops. There's a lot of loops here. These ones are designed specifically for our accessory straps. So if you happen to hang at one of our accessory straps, the what's called a gatekeeper slides right into here perfectly. But we've also got this loop here and we've also got this O-ring. And as I mentioned before, we got these two loops here. Basically, these aren't designed for anything specific. They're designed so you can have any third party pouch or, or whatever it is that you need to connect here, you've got the options to attach it. Key ring. Okay, we're gonna go into the, the back pocket here. This is actually on the back panel. This pocket, I'm gonna pull it out just so we can get at it. Pull out my car keys and you'll see we have a little loop here. Goes in like that. When you wanna take it out, it's pretty easy. The idea behind this is just always keep your keys in the same spot. You never wanna get back to your car and start stressing about where your keys are, especially when it's dark, you're cold, you're hungry, all that stuff. So it sits on the back wall. The reason we put it on the back wall of the bag is because that pocket's basically the pocket you just put stuff that you access once a day or once a trip. You wanna put stuff back there that you just, you don't need access to often. If you need access to it often, put it in the front. Number seven, TPU divider loop. Okay, so on the front, we have these black TPU uh, loops. They allow you to divide your front panel accessory straps into two sections. So you can put a tripod down the front like this, and another one over here, maybe it's light stands, who knows what you're using. You can simply unweave it like this, and just go right across the front like that. So let's say you had a snowboard, or you had a tent, or you just had to carry something really big on the front panel of your bag. You can do that here. Another thing you could do is if you choose to divide and you have something that's really long, do this. Go cross carry. Put it from here to here, 
Maybe you're gonna shave a few inches off the bottom rather than it being straight down. Another situation this is good in, when you're hiking something steep, you don't want things pointing straight down right behind both of your legs because your feet or your boots can catch on the bottom of it if it's something long. Try cross carry, it'll shorten up the, uh, the vertical and the, and the uh, overhead height just a little bit. Number eight, reinforced base panel. For Action X, we upgraded the base panel. This is, if my memory serves correctly, 1600D nylon, which is very thick, very durable. The PU is actually dyed with the pigments, so the coloring is really nice on it. The protection's there. It's extra water resistant, extra thick, very durable, yet it's still flexible. So the problem when you use like this material, TPU, if you made a base out of that, so situations like this, you can't really get a seam because you're basically folding plastic and everyone knows what happens when you fold plastic, it cracks. So that will help keep water out because it's not gonna break. Number nine, accessory loops on the base and top panel. Right here you can see accessory loops here and you can see another set right here. So basically your accessory straps are gonna go here and here. So you might want to attach a sleeping pad. Maybe you're doing a yoga shoot and you got to bring a yoga mat. I don't know. Whatever it is, you can attach it there. Tent, sleeping bag, etc. All that kind of stuff. Uh, you'll notice they have like a kind of like an A shape. This is so. One second. It's kind of like a, it's got this kind of A shape to it. It's kind of like a backstop or something. So rather than trying to thread the needle like this, you've kind of got a backstop to just push it quickly through. So you have two here and you have two here. On the top panel, you have two here, and then you can just attach it to your load lifter straps right here. Number 10, pull tabs and zipper garages. Pull tabs, TPU pull tabs, nice and tacky for your thumb. They feel great. It's a nice uh, aesthetic detail, all that kind of stuff. You'll see them on the uh, load lifter straps. You'll also see them Pull tab here on your harness when you're compressing it tight. That's a nice feature. But you know what, why these are really here is because if you change your shoulder strap, this makes it really easy to unthread your shoulder straps. When you change them, do this quickly. Just show you how quick it is. See, see that easy, it's that easy. And then I'll show you this part. You see this, this thing? So normally if you didn't have this little flap here, it stands a chance of unthreading itself. So this way you saw that. I should shoot that in 120 frames per second, but I won't. So this will just hit the here, it'll stop it. It works as a stopper. You'll also find we have uh, zipper garages and pull tabs on some of the zippers. We only put them where they're needed or where they make sense. We don't just put them everywhere. A TPU pull tab right here. Again, that nice tacky feel on the fingers. You got your zipper, you grab the tab, just like that. So we have one here and then on the side pockets, we got these nice zipper garages here. When it's raining, you just wanna make sure your zipper is under that garage. That way you're not gonna get anything in there. Same thing on the top zipper. Make sure your, your zipper's under the garage if the weather's foul or if dust storm, sand storm, wherever you are. Make sure you park it in the garage. The last on the list is the side pocket detail. And I'm gonna show you that side pocket right now. If, if you're wearing the bag, on the right side is direct access to your camera gear. But on the other side is a side pocket. First, we have this hidden zipper here. Now this pocket, you can quickly stuff poles, tripod legs, monopod legs. Uh, great for holding the gimbal, uh, the gimbal handle if it's not a collapsible one, anything. It's perfect, stops it, holds it nicely. Now this pocket also has, now this pocket, of course, it has the tripod water bottle holder in it. Okay, let's not talk about that. That one's pretty obvious. So if we open this up, we can see that we have a sleeve right here. Now this sleeve in the lining is actually so, you can put your water bottle tripod holder in that sleeve. This is all optional, there's many ways to do this. When you close it like this, you can use this pocket as your main pocket. So you can use your pocket just like this, but this way the water bottle uh, holder isn't getting in the way. And then it has a sub sleeve here. Now this is great for gloves. Maybe you're putting a power bank in there, maybe you're putting some snacks in there. 
Maybe you're putting some sunscreen in there, whatever it is. This pocket's great, it's clear, it lets you know exactly what's in there. So the other way you can use this, say you want full access to this pocket from here, you can just tuck this into the clear pocket, close it, now you have direct access to that pocket. So there's probably three or four different ways you can use this pocket. Really happy we came up with this design detail. The zipper's hidden. There's a really difficult balance when you're making bags that are extra functional and battling against using too many zippers. So this nice subtle detailing really helps the overall aesthetic to the bag. So there you go, those are seven details that are gonna be overlooked with Action X. Hopefully you just watched this video and you can utilize all those features yourself. Thanks a lot, take care, we'll see you next time.